Welcome viewers. I want to launch this form so that I take you through the automated data entry form episode 2. I did episode 1 where I took you through on how to create the labels, the text boxes, the command patterns. Now I am going to take you through on how it is working after I have done the coding. Then the next episode will be on the coding itself. Um, if you click on launch form, you see the form that we had created together in the last episode appears. Whereby you enter now, the last time we created, we were not able to enter detail, but for now we shall be entering the details here. And then we will be seeing all the details appearing on this database that will be stored on the data on a spreadsheet which I, I called database like I had shown you on the previous episode. The episode link shall be uh, on the comment. Now when uh, you enter like admission number, admission number let me enter like uh, 7896 I press enter, I'll be able to enter the student name. Let me call that person James Mokua. Then I press enter, let me call his code in mathematics like 78, his code 40, 54, his code 96. You press enter, you automatically get the total marks that students scored. Then if I press enter again, I'll be automatically be seeing the average. I have done the grading where by 78 and above, I've given us an A. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, more than 79, that is greater than 79, meaning 80 and above is an A. Then I've also done on, um, uh, that is between, between 70 to 79, it shall be a B, and uh, below 70, uh, below 70, that is to, seven, to 69, to 70, 70 and above, it's a C, and then I have also done in that order, you'll be able to see. So if I press enter again, I'll be able to see that it's 76 is a B. And then now I can click on save. Do you want to save this data? Yes. So the data will be saved and it will be appearing here. If I go with for another student, for instance, let me have a student like, uh, um, let me call Martin, Martin Maina. If I call Martin Maina, uh, that is uh, now I will uh, do another episode about validation whereby you shall you will not be entering a uh, text in where you're supposed to enter a number like now if I had done validation I could only enter the number there I could have entered only a number there so I'll do the next day another episode whereby I'll talk about validation but for now uh, press enter give the student name I talked about uh, John Minor. Let me talk about John Minor. Uh, John uh, John Minor. John Minor. Then I say mathematics is called 89, is called 74, is called 21. That is Kiswahili. If you press enter, you'll be seeing the total max is 184 out of 300. If um, you can do for so many subjects, I only did for three as a demonstration, but you can do for so many other subjects. And then if I press enter, you'll be able to see the average mark that uh, that uh, person John Minor scored. And then if you press enter, you'll be able to see the grade is scored. So it's called a C. So if I click save, I will be able to save uh, to save these details. Yes. Now I want to show you now. Maybe you can reset. Maybe if you enter some details like I did there, then you realize it was a mistake. You can reset the whole thing. You can say the whole thing. Um, Kibet, Kibet James, Kibet James is another name here I'm using. Kibet James, uh, mathematics is called 58, is called uh, 84, is called 96. Then uh, if you press enter, you can see the marks. Then you press enter, you are able to see the average mark. You press enter, you are able to see the grade is an A. So if I click reset, it will reset this max it will reset this max uh in my grading system i've not uh, counted for the uh, i mean uh, i do not consider the decimal points 
but next time if i was doing now uh, another system i could have uh, considered it you can grade and consider the decimal points if you're using average max but it's good that uh, you use if you are using points points have no decimals so you cannot consider that so we can i can have another system where you can include even the points each and every subject you include the grade and then the points so that to get the total points you can do such uh, next time i'll have to another episode have to include a pattern to delete a record or if that record and another pattern to search that record in the database if you find a record that maybe a student has transferred you find that record and then you delete that one shall be done in another episode with uh, other details here so i can do here reset if do you want to reset yes that means that student has not been recorded the student has not been recorded because there was an error and therefore i decided to reset but i can have another episode where in case he is already in the database you can search and then you delete now um you've seen that all these appears still the students appears here you can be able to scroll here and see all the details you scroll and see all the details like you can see the average and even the grade then uh, that is uh, all about the demonstration then i will also have another uh, pattern in another episode that could be enabling me to exceed this form if i exceed the form and then you go to database you'll be able to see that all students that you entered appear in a, a database that is in a sheet that i've called database so the, all the work that you are doing all of them were, were being entered into a sheet all of them were being entered into a sheet thank you for listening if you have really liked this uh, uh, episode you like it in the youtube channel and you share and then subscribe thank you for listening and ensure you subscribe so that you can be able to get the next episode thank you